Okay, so uh, I uh, was doing a little experimenting with this Sega Astro City Mini that I picked up at a local game store. And uh, I was looking at this video from uh, Neosvera. I'm going to mispronounce that. But uh, he had a great video where they're working on a uh, Batacera build that uh, can be flashed onto this thing just using a uh, USB drive. So I figured, you know, I'd give it a try. So, uh, you know, big shout out to them. Check out their channel here. I'll link it also in the video description below. But uh, they point to this GitHub page that has all of the software and instructions that you need. Um, now, this can be run on Linux or Windows. I'll be doing this on Windows. But you just want to jump down to the bottom and grab these two files right here. One is a uh, image and the other is a zip file. Also, if you're running on Windows, uh, under the Windows commands, go ahead and grab the uh, these drivers here. They'd be linked. Classic drivers and Zdig drivers. I think I only needed the classic drivers, but it doesn't hurt to install both. Uh, I have no problem with, uh, with both on my computer. I'm running Windows 10. So uh, once we've got all that software here, uh, I've got them over here. And uh, now I've already installed these drivers. You just double click on them and they install. No problem there. And then you've got them in, in case you need them. Uh, then for the image, what you want to do is you want to grab a, a USB stick, uh, at least 16 gigs. This is a 32, just one I had laying around. And um, Win32 Disk Imager is um, my preferred uh, image burning tool. So you just take that and you browse to the image that you've got, and then you select whatever drive letter your USB drive is. And then you can write that image. Now, to uh, save some time, I've already done that. So that's already on here. And uh, then go ahead and just open up the zip file. And then you've got a uh, set of programs here. You've got some batch files and some sh files. The bat files are for uh, the Windows and the sh are for Linux. Uh, there's also a Mac version on here, but I haven't played with that. Uh, I have used the Linux and the Windows one. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just do the Windows one for this demonstration. So what you do here is you once you've got your flash drive and your stock Astro City Mini, just go ahead and power off the Mini. So I'm just going to pull the power from that. Take your flash drive and plug it into the Player 2 slot on the back of the Mini. All right and leave it still powered off. Then over on in here, go ahead and start up your, your ACM backup and install. That one right there, if you're running, oh, sorry, the bat file is running on Windows. So this is the one you wanna run. And then we're gonna go ahead and plug in and power on the, uh, the mini. We're going to plug that in. It's going to start to boot up. And just like it says, when you're ready, go back to the script here and hit any button. It's going to go ahead and try to detect it. Now, at first you don't succeed. There has been an issue uh, where I tried this a couple times. It's just a matter of timing, where Windows sees the device the same time the script does. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to go ahead and close out this script and pull the power on the mini, run the script again, the backup and install. We're going to hit the button first this time and then plug in the mini. And that was the trick. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you uh, you hit the button on the script and then plug in the power to the mini. Great. So now that that window is gone, it says press any key to continue. And we're going to go ahead and do that. And now it's going to go ahead and write the uh, the image to your Astro City Mini. All right. And once that's done. The Astro City Mini is going to reboot. USB key detected, creating image backup. So this is going to back up your original firmware so that if you ever wanted to, you could use the included uh, ACM restore script to set this back to factory. But right now it's uh, just made that backup and now it's going to reboot and do its very first boot into Batacera. 
So Batacera is going to take a few minutes to load the first time, but then subsequent boots are going to be a lot faster. And all of this is detailed on their GitHub page. And there we go, there's Batacera starting up. And we're good to go. So this is going to come with a couple sample games uh, that are just open source stuff. And if you wanted to load your own games uh, later, all you can, all you have to do is take the uh, USB stick out and mount it to a Linux file system. Um, or if you're using Windows, I like to use uh, Disk Genius. Uh, this is a program where I can mount Linux partitions on Windows, and then you can just drag and drop your ROMs and your artwork uh, over to uh, over to your USB stick. So uh, right now I should have a couple of games on here from before. Yep, Mario Kart, um, Sunset Riders, and I think for name I've loaded Street Fighter. So uh, this, uh, go ahead and hit start on that. So if you're uh, familiar with Batacera, you can uh, load games however you want. Just note that the Astro City Mini has no network connectivity. So you won't be able to use Wi-Fi or Ethernet or anything to access it for sending ROMs over. Uh, you'll just have to take the USB stick out and uh, load them onto the share partition uh, on that. So here, here's Street Fighter 2 loading on MAME 2003. And that's it. So it's uh, you just need to uh, be running your USB stick the whole time. And of course, the Astro City Mini has no battery, so you need a USB power lead going into the back. Um, but yeah, you know, have fun with it. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Again, this is just a demonstration of just like my own experience going through. Uh, big shout out to to the uh, to the guys who put this together and uh, check them out. And uh, yeah, have fun.